boom. Week three, playing against Victor Mafort. Won the roll, chose to draw. Yes, and is close to being perfect. We just need to hit that swamp. You know I chose to draw. You know I got time to hit swamp, which we have nine more sources plus evolving wilds. So ten total chances to hit. He plays Leaf Crown Dryad. Oop, Plains is not the worst possible draw since it gives us Minotaur. Okay, Sign of Blood. That was one of the more problematic draws. Okay, if he's just like tapping our guy just to get him for two, that's probably the best thing possible. Plains, eh, still a pretty bad draw. Just tapping our guy. Swamp. Now we're gold and now we're Goldilocks. And now. Up. Oh, Miss click. So he goes. He goes, oops. I go, oops. So even if he tried to tap his own guy, or even if he tapped my guy, I probably would have taken two and then just freak us cure to end the turn. So I could be at 14 right now. Sign of blood. Nice. Hit another swamp play. To leave open divine verdict. Even though he's got nothing to play. He's tapping my guy for no reason. I guess so he doesn't take two. So now he's tapping my guys. Now he's got an 06. So that's pretty annoying to attack through. He, for he forgets to tap my guy there. Which makes me think he could have a counter. But I don't really care. I just need to play every creature I get. So he sips on the hemlock. My guy, which I'm totally fine with. Not a big deal. So I got both my charges, none of my creatures. I could use a little bit more creatures. Free attack. Doesn't really do anything, so... Yep, hope my triplicate spirits land, and they do. Don't get disdainful strokes at all. Ooh. That's gonna ask Molten Skin. That's kind of brutal. It's like, geez, I guess I'll chump. Divine Verdict this guy. He can just regenerate it, but I'm fine with that. I just want to save my 1-1 one -one and not take any damage. Because he got on Monstrous and hit me for 10, and then it's lethal next turn. Ooh, that's annoying. Ooh, Merchant. So here, I'm pretty sure I want to charge. See? Because it puts him to 2, and I get to kill his 06 and gain some life. So now he's kind of have to be a suicide to attack. But he does. Wow. And he must have scooped at this point. Yeah, I think he just attacked and scooped. Since he's just dead on board. So yeah, my deck seemed pretty fairly well positioned against him. Pillar of Light seems good. Divine Verdict seems good. I don't know if I have any way to deal with artifacts, but no big deal. Uh, we'll see if I sideboarded anything in the next game. What do you think? I think this hand's good. Kill the satyr so he doesn't ramp. Got the scholar. Ooh, he makes it a 4-2. This is a little annoying. Since if I draw... An untapped land. Ooh, pillar of light. Oh, that's awkward. It doesn't kill his guy. So here is really awkward. I don't have an untapped land. 
So, can't divine verdict. So my play is a crippling bite this guy, which makes him have to use the tyrant's machine to tap my guy this turn, which means I'm fine taking three. Now he, ha he has to do that every turn he wants to attack, or my 4-1 can just block. So I think I'm fine with that. Because if he did that, then he wouldn't be able to tackle the 3 on this turn, because I could just block. But he plays a 4-5. I'm like, okay, that's going to die immediately. Let's see what we can do this turn. From his perspective, he taps mana, does nothing. Interesting. So he just mistapped out of black. He just tapped wrong. Which you can't really do. So crippling Chili, I think he's playing all these cards that don't do anything. Meanwhile, Treasure Cruise does. I would like a Treasure Cruise. Maybe I should pick Cons. Play Blue Black. I could look at Blue White Flyers too. That might that might be a good deck. So now we can at least activate every turn. We got more creatures. Okay, he's just barely slowing us down. He's still taking a ton. Could have tapped our guy, didn't there, so I don't know why. Even though we even though he had cancel, he could still tap our guy for four mana. Eternal Thirst, interesting, on 3-2, so, so we get to do the sweet play of playing the guy and Covenant into blooding his guy, so he has no lifelink and get a nice 2 for 1, and that's quite easily the game. So this black-white deck fared pretty well. I would come to imagine it's going to be very strong with triplicates and merchants and charges. Uh, so yeah, that was very easy in the O2 bracket. Hopefully we can keep crushing and barely make top 8, even though it's very unlikely. But yeah, hopefully who we've lost to has gone on to do as well as well. So we'll be rooting for them and the tiebreakers. All right, that's the Black White deck. In week three, stay tuned for week four. Haven't decided what pack I want yet, but it's probably just going to go M15 Theros, M15 Theros. Um, I'm sure Cons and Fate Reforge have some good cards that I would like. Hearth Sustenance and uh, Reach of Shadows and Sultai Emissary would all be good. Uh, Saint Step Outcast. Even just like Mardu Hort Chief and all that stuff, but it's only one pack. So, yeah. We'll see you next week.